Well, the biggest challenges for the field, uh, you know, come in two different flavors. Um, there's the biggest challenge for the field, the biggest challenges for the field scientifically, um, and then of course there are big challenges for any field um, sort of in the scientific community and all of the forces that um, influence how much science people can do. Um, you know, again, holy grails um, in uh, science are very difficult to identify. Um, and so, you know, I think there are many, many challenges that um, sum up to some of the biggest challenges in chemistry and in organic chemistry. And it just would be nice if we could be more predictive. Now, whether that comes from mining huge amounts of experimental data, whether that comes from uh, improvements in computational chemistry, or more likely than anything else, some sort of merged uh, approaches with advances in both, um, you know, it's hard to say. Um, but uh, it just would be nice if we could be more predictive about structure and reactions and the dynamics of molecules um, as all of those things ultimately influence their structure and reactivity. In terms of the scientific community, I think there are some significant challenges that we have to be thinking about also. Uh, for organic chemistry specifically, one of the challenges is that organic chemistry is a part of so many other fields. And so there's outstanding organic chemistry being published in many, many different journals. Uh, people talk about new organic chemistry coming out of biosynthetic studies in many journals that we associate with biochemistry. People study, uh, um, talk about the uh, synthesis and, and properties of, um, you know, sort of organic electronics in journals that we associate more with material science. And so there are all kinds of forces that we as a scientific community have to come to grips with as we try to advance our field. Uh, and then, you know, probably the most important um, consideration in thinking about the future of science um, in organic chemistry and throughout science is that it is expensive. It's more expensive than ever. And, um, and so uh, we uh, absolutely rely on the support of the federal government and private foundations uh, and, and, and basically all sorts of uh, uh, you know, private uh, enterprises now to basically pay the bills. And, and this is a big challenge because science is expensive, it's becoming more and more expensive, um, and, um, and so uh, we have to continue to hold up uh, our end of the bargain, which is to uh, use the resources wisely and do our absolute best to, to make these investments um, pay off in terms of both fundamental contributions and ultimately applications.